Welcome to a new Let's Play. I'm Sarah and I'm your guide through this uh, Let's Play. And we are playing Deus Ex Human Revolution, the director's cut, in NG Blast mode. So we're gonna play on the highest difficulty. Just to round out the proper experience. Because I already played uh, this and Mankind Divided recently. And I want to play it in NG Plus anyway, so why not record it? Make a let's play out of that. Is everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control the post rates. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's science board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Seraph is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Seraph wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. Ooh, the evil conspiracy. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassab reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal. It's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. So let's look around. Do we have Patient here? X. That's nothing, Adam. Just some of the research. Look, we really have to go. Oh, it's negative. Hmm. Why is that nothing? Why is she trying to hide something from me? Well, it's better not be about me. Yeah, I get it. Let me read. Notes. Patient X. DNA analysis. Sample taken shows usual, unusually high presence of mutagenic chemicals in the primary strand. These don't appear to be harmful, however, in fact, X appears to be a healthier more resilient to infections than most subjects of similar age and ethnic background. Also, admittedly, this is based on personal observation only. X 
access to X medical file history is not possible at this time. Okay. More interesting to note, however, is that is what these chemicals do when isolated and introduced to the pedot cluster. In less than 24 hours, artificial materials within the cluster have been completely encapsulated in a thick semi permeable coating of subjects' own normal tissue. In fact, the invaders are being disguised as part of subjects' nervous system. Tests have yet to be concluded, but it's my belief that pedot clusters built with this unique DNA signature signature will be undetectable to the human immune system. The bond between what is nervous system and what is and I thought women external device men waiting. will be blurred to such an extent that no gl glial tissue buildup will occur. No opocene may no longer be needed. Uh -huh. Wait, Megan, can you wait? In a second. Yeah, let me wait. So much to read in this game, so I think we will read this later. If we find it again. My PC? You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, Meg. I know, I know. Frank gets on me about it too. Okay, you see her computer, then I'm not gonna look at it. Warning. This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Sarif. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neuropeptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. Oh, she's a... I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of... Eric! You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading Mr. that confirms my theory. I'll ask All David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You mm. overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. It's good. not all military. Hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. Oh. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, yeah. you almost ready? Washington? Huh. So she's like the head scientist ah, here. Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the Typhoon. Yes, thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. Oh. And the back blast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I love this weapon. And yes, we can use this. Oh, the grab this are good. No one's stuff. How soon till it's ready? I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. They still have some work to do. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life, everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah. He is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. No, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. Hmm. So. Um, with, especially with normal implants, does one not lose a little bit of something with one's will? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plans. Did you destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Ooh. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Hello. Richard. So, are we all ready for the trip? 
There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See what the helipad had him. Okay. Sure. Bye. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fix that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Thanks for being an ex swat And you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. No, Everything David. in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. Uh, really now? It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. I don't Laboratory think... Laboratory subsection 6. We don't all need that metal arm for from ourselves, so... We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Okay, but we have a security breach. Yes, sir. Time to go. 0451. 0451. Sweet. Richard, where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microchem labs. I think she's running. Damn. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Richard? I will. Richard! Go. Uh, I don't have any of this. Mm. They are killing everybody. We were in the entered here, uninvited. Wanna be careful. What the fuck? Damn, this guy is bulked up to the max. Wow. And he has no fucks to give about me, clearly. Let's get the fuck from here. And he wins. Nice 
made it. Good, good, good. Yeah, you can die in this game pretty easily. Without well, any difficulty. Because I'm not Superman. Just kind of cool. And you can carry buddies around. Self options, I'm not sure on this one. Okay, this is a straight up combat and defense mission, I think. Treated as such. Just trying to eliminate the intruders, so yeah. To anyone new to this, oh, it's been late. What the fuck? I was going through a wall.
that you lost enough people today? I'm sorry. So they turned me into a robot now. Oh, let's go. Six months later. Shades activated. Thank Adam, you. it's David. You in the building? Just entered the lobby. Hey. Sorry what? to pull you out of sick leave so back. soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. Okay, gotcha. Oh yeah, I do have like all my upgrades here already. That's nice to see how fully decked out I am. Hmm, I thought I got that one. And I want to get into end game last time. I played. But maybe not. Oh, uh, so decked out on stuff. And of course we have the Typhoon system fully activated. Wonder if I will get all the skills on this playthrough in Energy Bluffs if that's a possibility. Punching for walls. Recoil removal. And we have one skill point. One in uh, praxis, whatever they wanna call it. <laughs> hmm, sprint faster. And without generating any audible sound. Jump and land from any height. Hmm. Hacking. This game is high on hacking, so yeah, we will eventually gonna get around to getting all of these. We will probably get this pretty early on, but not right now. I wanna improve the armor. I remember that having fully maxed out. So, yeah. And this is an invisibility thing, I think. Right? Or is that somewhere else? No, that's. Uh, that. Yeah, yeah, it's here, okay. Crazy good. Now I use it much in either game. Hey, Man, buddy. I didn't believe it when they said you were coming back, boss. Not the way you were busted up. Yeah, thanks. Well, look at this. Finally decided to get off your ass, Adam. Glad to see it. For a while there, I thought you'd never walk again. Yeah, well, surprise, motherfucker. I'm walking again. We lost because of the last attack and the Washington hearings being postponed. Now this. Damn fanatics. You think the news is right? Oh, that that's a not the right way. Is behind this, Mr. Cannon? No, no Pussine. Sorry, sir. Is it working so much? No, Pussine is what usually augmented people need to take. 
to be able to um, even uh, okay. Bye. Uh, for their body to accept the the, Im the implants, the augmentations. So yeah, it's good if you get them. You need to take a walk. Where the fuck is his office? Richard, my man, where the fuck are you? It's been tough on everyone these past few months, especially in the new tech company lab. He went up. Why on the one floor? Oh, I know that. Adam Jensen. Mr. Seraph's called in his expert to handle this thing, huh? That's a relief. Yeah. I guess so. Hey, Adam, you're back. Great to see you. Wow. They really did a number on you. Yeah, I guess. Well, that's my office. Looks a little bit messy. Probably have not been here in a while. Let's go take a look at my monitor. Everything not connected. Access restricted. I'm the top security guy. Okay. Pocket secretary. Take a look. E. Jensen. Password. Mandrake. All right. I deleted your entire network account. I only received the order to set up a new one a few minutes ago. So if you don't like the password I picked, lifted it. <laughs> he really is an asshole. James Osterberg, please report to the Central Testing Center. James Osterberg to the Central Testing Center. That's granted. Minor security concern. Welcome back, Adam Jensen. First of all. It is really good to have you back. Things just haven't been the same since the attack and we're all, and we are all hoping your return will restore some sense of equilibrium. Sad. And David really misses you. From Erfine Margulis. Well Erfine, not sure yet, I know. I know your top priority right now is going to be with him, but if you have moments there's something I'd like to check into Dr. as well. Someone's been stealing the Porcine. I uh, first noticed it about three months ago. We seem to be uh, recording cases from Bertha Life far more often than usual. I had Frank run through the lab security tapes and that's when he realized someone had tampered with them. Usually on nights when Will Rosalini was in charge, Frank wanted to search Will's office immediately. He even gave me this, uh, the access code. 3716, but I told him to wait. Last thing we need is to start forthwith using people. When you get a chance, can you speak to Will? He's working in Office 23. James mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will's office, but it's good. Will should be in his office anyways. Office 23. Let me check that. Hey David. Made a message. Update. Good morning everyone. Okay, there's just um. Uh, motivational speech, email, he sent to everyone. Every season, grief counseling. Okay, and it's also something for everyone. Not directly addressed to me. Oh, office 23, let's close our door. Office 23, where I want to high up, I think. Office 23. the code again. I have the code somewhere noted. Oh yeah, they're all noted here. Oh, that's wonderful. Let's go into the office. 3716. Oh, it's also here. Wonderful. The next three decades. Where will be where will we be in 2050? There was once a time when we believed that the world would become a monolithic nation state, a kind of United States of Earth, brought together under the global aegis of super governmental body of a super governmental body. But now that prediction seems quaint and hackneyed. Hackneyed. No. The reality the reality is that we live in an era where sovereign nations and the formal governments of countries are little more than lines of demarcation upon the world's map. 
more and more citizens of the world lend their loyalty not to flag, but to the only two transnational entities that still thrive, corporations. We thus foresee a time when people will be citizens of their employer's nation rather than Chinese, French, Canadian, etc. And in this world, what we have thought of as traditional nation complex such as America will fragment in order to find their own equilibrium. Okay. That's kind of a scary thought. Corporations. Uh, yeah. We gotta take a look at his email. Over pussy and theft. Don't get me in. Wrong, I'm not accusing anyone but the Sarif security chief. It's my responsibility to stay on top of things. What exactly are you accusing me of, Frank? Yes, I have taken quantities from Noropocin out of the lab. It's part of my research, but I have uh, locked each and every drop used and placed all your new supplies back in the freezer before leaving. And I was not the only one working late this night. Talk to Broker, he'll verify it. Okay. Get Broker. One of Americans team was on to with that patient X trying to simply amazing. I ran the test three times just to be sure. And none of the usual rejections markers are present. After eight weeks without Noropocene, this is unheard of will. Listen, I gotta take off, but you have got to see the results for yourself. Come to my office, room 32. By chance the door is locked, 9642. We'll get you in. And such as the uh, company wide emails. Let's go up again, of 32. Frank tells me he's still waiting for you, Adam. You don't have time to mess around. Get to the tech lab, or something seriously bad is gonna happen. Wait, why are you of 32? No, 32 be like somewhere there, nearby. I'm 33, 35. What the fuck is this building doing to me? In my brain, oh, the 32 is somehow here. Nine six four two. What's that? Poor energy bar. Yeah. Oh, what does our inventory look like right now? Nothing. Zero. Well, one item now. Tomo's man. The U Darrow story. I think we'll read this next time. And this one too. Yeah, that's a little bit to read. That's what Eclipse. That's granted. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, late night coffee break. I guess I'm just full of surprises. Let Broga out. And Ria, you gotta tell me, what the hell was that the other night? First of all, I had no clue you were to slit and no idea you were still in the lab. Okay, so this is some very uh, sexual content uh, kind of thing. I'm not gonna go into that. That's private. And this is just Frank's uh, email about this thing. So I don't see any issues here. About this Noropocene theft thing. But do we check? Well, uh, we don't even have a really aggressive theft, do we? We have a rent here. We'll come back here, but. I think we end the episode here, read these messages, and then in the next episode we go to Frank and go to Zarif and do probably I think our first combat mission, slash stealth. So yeah, I'm gonna play this halfway stealth, halfway uh, full out, little, non little sort of thing. So I hope you're all gonna like this. And I see you next time. Bye.